Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today, I am creating a card inspired by Ayanna, one of the design team members at Echo Park. On the blog, they had this card posted, and I am going to recreate this same card with a few little different touches. I have already worked with the collection kit from A Dog's Tail, so I had used up some of the papers that were in that card, like the background base that I'm using here, I had already used the polka dot blue paper in my scrapbook layout, so I substituted it for that background piece. And this plaid as well is a different plaid than the one that she had used in the card. But I've taken all of the design elements and you can see I'm recreating it by never ever measuring anything. I just start with my card base and I just line things up by eye and I glue it in place and I cut things down just by looking at them. I also had already used up that little scallop that she had on the bottom of the card. It was one of the element stickers. I had used it already, so I just created my own scallop with a uh, similar striped pattern material. So this was really inspiring. When I saw Anna's post and the card that she made, I immediately jumped downstairs turned on my camera and recreated it because it was just stunning and I had to use a little bit different uh, cutting dies so those two tags there were from some cutting dies that I had same sort of shape but different I'm um, completely in the size and the style and stuff I use the foam adhesive from Michaels. I get the big sheets of it and then I just use, I had some little remnants there. I used the colors. You saw me put some pink on the back. Things that are hidden deep into the card are never going to be seen. Some of the ones that are up higher and close to the surface might be noticeable if you look at it from the side, but for the most part, I'm not usually worried about the colors that, um, that I use for the foam adhesive because they're never seen. So here I'm using black, white, and pink, and I'm just taking whatever little remnants and pieces I have from my desk here. So I'm going to layer these up. Every single sticker here has another layer. This dog is going to go up on Pop Dots as well. This cute little poodle. I was just really impressed with this card. It was adorable. I had to create something similar. I'm not even sure what I'm going to use this card for. Um, it's got a cute little saying there that uh, home is where the dog runs to greet you. So that could be a card that you give to someone whose um, dog's having a birthday or someone who's uh, just moved into a new home and, uh, and that would be cute. But it uh, is really a lot of fun to work with this collection. This collection itself is available at Polka Dot Mailbox and it is a really elegant sort of collection. A lot of the products that I am drawn to are very um, pastel-y kind of colors or they're very um, fun kid-ish sort of themed where this is very mature and elegant and I, I really enjoyed working with it. So here is the final product. You can see all of the different layers when I turn it on the side here as to how everything's popped up. And I will show you some still photos as well. And you can see everything in more depth. I'll also show you a close up view of the card that I reproduced. So this was the card that I made and here is the one from the blog. I really love that polka dot blue in there and um, it's all the same elements. My cut for some reason kind of scuffed up the edge of the embossing which I didn't mind. It actually kind of added an interesting texture to the project. Sometimes I scuff things up like that on purpose and that was just a happy accident. So Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again next time.